In the next empty room, the door to this room is locked. You can pick the lock or you can break down the door. Break down the door. You break down the door. At the center of this room is a badly decomposed winged body, legs. Its arms, legs, and wings cast out to the four winds. The body has obviously been the target of violence since its death. The shreds of fine raiment cover the body, but all weapons, armor, and goods have been removed. Next to the body, writing been scratched into stone. Looks like some sort of winged being was tortured here to the point where it had to get its last words carved into stone with its fingernails. This was one of the members of the celestial garrison who was slain after the first earthquake. Before he died, he carved his last words into the stone floor. In celestial, if you speak celestial, I know one of you does. In celestial, they read, Abbasar of right host, I stood fast against the darkness and now traveled into the light. Let you who find my body carry on the fight in my stead. Alsar was slain and his corpse desecrated by the creatures of the dungeon. This is getting spooky. The floor of this room is missing. Instead, there is a pit of significant depth, at the bottom of which is nothing but spikes and corpses. The walls and ceiling are bare except for a few scratch marks. A foul odor indicates that the bodies have been rotting for some time. Who's ever leading, or in front, or taking point, as we like to say, springs a trap. First, a pit trap, and is now stuck in open position, very deep pit with spikes at the butt. Some of local residents use this pit for garbage disposal, particularly for the bodies of their enemies. Somehow, you uh, make the correct save and get out of the pit trap, getting some XP or the close call. The air is extremely stagnant. At the end of this chamber is a door with an inscription. The door is abnormally warm, heat emanates from the room beyond, and you can hear the sound of fire and an odd whooshing noise after short but irregular intervals. The entire room, you, you open the door. The entire room is scarred black. After a few seconds in the room, it's entirely engulfed in flame, creating a whoosh noise as air rushes in to feed the fire. The process repeats frequently, rarely taking, rarely taking longer than a half a minute between bursts. Whoosh. Then a half minute later. Whoosh. This room contains a fireball trap, but the trigger has malfunctioned, and now the fireball goes off at random intervals every 1d6 rounds. So, it's not really scientific, you know, it's, it's random, the whooshing. Destroying anything placed inside. The vent for the fireball trap is set at, in the ceiling, and the lever to turn it off is on the far wall. If the PCs wish to cross the room, they must find a way to disable the trap without getting cooked. You try to disable the trap. It is incredibly difficult, but you succeed. The door to this room has long ago been splintered, and only a few scraps of wood hang from the hinges. The walls of this room are dominated, dominated by large wooden bookcases lined with scraps of paper, broken bindings, and other remnants of the impressive library. The bookcases have not fared much better. The entire room is ready to collapse. Once one of the libraries used by the celestial garrison, the room has been exposed to damp air of the dungeon and several species of paper-eating insects for the last few centuries. Now, it, now its contents are all but destroyed. Any human contact destroys the surviving books in this room, but there are few of those to be found. Most of the books in this room have long ago rotted away, so there is nothing of value in this desecrated library. While no heat radiates, radiates off the walls of this room, the walls are constantly bathed in fire. A ring of red and blue flame coats the walls and floors, turning the stone black. The wall of fire is an illusion. You walk through it. It produces no heat and cannot harm you. However, if you believe it's real, it does 2d6 plus 11 damage to you, fire damage, like a real wall of fire would. You see that the walls are clean and the fire hasn't touched anything. So, you move through the Law of Fire spell, because it was an illusion. The Law of Fire was an illusion, it wasn't really there. 